good whatever your time zone is i hope you're having a good uh, whatever your time zone is but enough of the introductions though because what we've got served on the slice of life today is fudo and go figure but we're talking again about one thing that he dearly loves using to let the floodgates go on creating homeless people it's called taxes ladies and gentlemen and a new report has come out with how much Canadians pay in taxes compared to everything else in their life. But before I get into that report, I'll give a little snippet of Trudeau. Cause no one likes him, no one wants him, and anyone who wants to act like they do, they're nobodies as well. He's stupid with money and has no idea about the concept of humility. He makes a sh ton of money and rather than giving out to those young Canadians that he supposedly cares about, he would rather choose between two things. Those being either to scam those young Canadians, like he did with the uh, we scandal, or he likes to put a down payment on three houses worth of food for a six day flight. We caught up on him now? Good. So to carry on, this article that I'm going to show you is probably going to upset you because I know for a fact that it upset myself just to see with a colorful picture as to how much Trudeau is sinking Canadians into the hole with taxes which is then just leading a lot of us into homelessness and more substance usage. You know that's one of the things I really find distaste with how stupid the elections were. Trudeau said that he had legalized the plant uh, that I don't think I can name on YouTube, but uh, I'm hoping you know what green plant I'm talking about. And then a lot of Canadians just started holding up Trudeau as the last bastion for getting higher than a kite. And now, Canada has a substance usage and, ahem, passing away problem that are linked to each other. But hey, green plant, am I right y'all? hear my palpable amount of sarcasm because Trudeau, the supposed person who cares about the young Canadians, the same dumb who legalized the green plant which led to him being voted in by a lot of unwise Canadians, which has since led to him taxing the ever-loving out of Canadians, and through that has led a lot of Canadians to become homeless, which then, as we all know, led to more substance usage. Let me ask. Do specific plants most affect adults in their ability to think cognitively? Or is it perhaps young Canadians who are most affected by those plants? Do people who are flying themselves as a metaphorical kite make smart decisions for their future? Quick answer, no. Mix that with all of these taxes that you see on the right and you tell me down below. What are the chances that the young Canadians that are growing up with the plants around them are going to live a happy life with taxes bearing down on them to the degree like this? I'm team not likely. Forget the fact that I am one of those young Canadians. I'm just saying that for what I see, I just don't really see a future that looks bright. That's all. All right, uh, I've talked too much for my own liking here, so let us get into that article. Quote, in a recent report, the Fraser Institute revealed that the average Canadian family is spending 43% of its annual income on taxes and just 35.6% on basic necessities like food and shelter. The independent economic think tank examined how the tax burden on Canadian families has shifted from 1961 to 2024. The tax bill has jumped by 2,705%, according to the report, which found that an average household earned an income of 109235 and paid 46988 in total taxes. Taxes remain the largest household expense for families in Canada, said Jake Fuss, director of fiscal studies at the Fraser Institute and co-author of Taxes vs. the Necessities of Life, the Canadian Consumer Tax Index 2024 edition. But what are basic necessities? And what about the other section of the income pie, which is 21.3?
Well, let us check that out. Quote, the report recorded food, shelter, and clothing as basic necessities. While Canadians are spending 21.8% and 11.5% of their income on housing and groceries, they spend only 2.3% on clothing. The remainder of the income pie, 21.3%, is devoted to other expenses that include education, transportation, recreation, and entertainment that includes tobacco and alcohol. Considering the sheer amount of income that goes towards taxes in this country, Canadians may question whether or not we're getting good value for our money, Fuss said in the news release. Hey, uh, Fuss, uh, just to answer you, uh, yeah, no sh**, a lot of Canadians will question whether we get a good value for our money, because we don't. And forbid the fact that if you want to purchase anything from America or any other country for that fact, because then you've got to accumulate for the fact that our dollar is in the dust in comparison. We purchase products made from other countries, which just drives costs up because that's a costly process in comparison to buying our own products here in Canada. Like, well, like, why do we need to import oil from America? Why not make our own oil from the fourth largest oil mine? Oh no, the carbon emissions. Well, guess what, stupid? We have to use oil anyways to make what you numbnuts call green energy. Yikes, sorry, that was a tangent. But the point still stands. Our dollar is worth nothing nowadays under Trudeau's leadership. If you can call it a leadership. Oh, uh, well, I guess you can call it that if you include leading us into a financial hole. But, uh, I don't know. It, it's just stupid. Everything that liberals touch always ends up burning. Our pockets, burning. Our taxes, burning. Our substance usage, burning. It's all burning. Liberals cause all of these problems nowadays and then complain about the, the rich people. No, stupid, it is your politics that have led us into this homeless hole of nothing. But look, liberals can always stop being stupid by voting for a Canadian deficit and instead choose common sense by voting conservative. And yes, it is just that simple in dealing with all the problems that liberalism causes. And best yet, is that it isn't even that much in terms of effort, and at least by you doing so, then you'll be helping in making Canada great again with some common sense in leadership. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way, though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.